This dramatic rock wall is part of a larger collapsed cave system here at Hahatanka State Park. Although this feature is pretty obvious, many of the park's karst areas aren't as clear from the trail system. So let's explore and take a closer look. Missouri has a lot of caves, but they're typically underground, with relatively few you can actually access. But at Hahatanka, you can follow the dramatic trace of a partially collapsed cave system on the surface. Using recent LiDAR data, we can see that the park's landscape contains a series of good-sized sinkholes with no external drainage, a classic indication of an underlying cave system whose ceiling has collapsed or otherwise formed a connection to the surface. There are also a few semi-sinkholes that do have external drainage, but were still clearly formed by cave collapse. Together, these form a roughly linear trend from the southeast to northwest, marking the cave's underground path. A large spring represents one outlet of this system. Some of these sinkholes and collapse structures are easily visible along the park's dense trail network. Along the Devil's Kitchen Trail, you can walk the inner rim of a large collapsed cavern and explore a partially collapsed side passage. Along the Colosseum Trail, you pass under a deep natural bridge and through a deep sinkhole on the other side. The spring trail follows a narrow gorge that represents another collapsed cave passage, through which the spring now flows toward the Big Niangle River. But other features are hidden in plain view. For example, the Turkey Pen Hollow Trail follows a narrow ridge defining the edge of a deep sinkhole. But the heavy forest cover makes it easy to miss if you're not paying attention. The same trail loops around another dramatic sinkhole hidden just up the ridge. There's no trail access to this one that's particularly dangerous as its edges are heavily forested and especially steep, and there's no way out. It's probably best to appreciate this one from a map view. If you want close-up views of deep sinkholes, visit others that have maintained trails and boardwalks along their edges, such as the Colosseum and Spring Trails. The very steepness of this feature makes it especially interesting, though, as it implies more recent formation, geologically speaking, than some other features with softer, more eroded profiles. It's neat to think about different sinkholes forming at different times as the cave system and landscape evolves. But this sequence isn't the only karst feature in the park. Slightly to the north lies a smaller sinkhole marking the entrance to River Cave, which used to be open to the public but is now closed. Little public information about this cave is available, though online searches will turn up old images of impressive formations. Notice how the creek running through this image vanishes into the cave. Interestingly, a recent but now removed State Park video report discussed how a major pulse of gravel, presumably sourced from the gravel road running parallel to the creek, is washing into the cave and threatening the cave's resources. Finally, it's worth noting that the linear trend of this cave system may not be a random occurrence. This region is underlain by a set of old faults that all trend southeast and northwest, just like the cave system. Although the cave trend doesn't lie directly along a mapped fault, there are likely many more related parallel fractures, also called joints, within the bedrock. Together, faults and joints represent planes of weakness along which karst and other erosional features can preferentially form. In fact, the Red Arrow Fault that runs through Hahatanka has had a strong influence on the park's terrain and even ecology. Check out our related video for more. Cave formation in this area is also influenced by stratigraphy. A distinct and erosion-resistant sandstone layer separates two karst-prone dolomite formations, affecting where and how springs and caves form. Check out our related video on the Gunter Sandstone for more. If you're able to visit Hahatanka, enjoy hiking through the dramatic karst-formed bluffs and steep forest-lined sinkholes. And if that's not enough collapsing rock for you, be sure to check out the old castle ruins as well.